Next up, 5.5B, Auto Blocks Mail. Start a new file, part file, new 2D sketch. I'm going to do this on the XZ plane. Now, a helpful thing here is to have your part centered on the origin. That means we have to create less axes and less work planes. But I'll still show you how to do that. We want to do a two-point center rectangle starting at the origin. It can be a square, 0.575 by 0.575. Finish sketch. Extrude that. It says 0.3. Now we're going to start a new sketch on this top surface. We're going to do an ellipse. This can center directly on the square because of how we drew the square. I'm going to make this horizontal. Then I'm just going to click to finish it. Then I'm going to come back in and dimension it. Not to dimension an ellipse, you can just click on it anywhere. And if you want to dimension the minor radius or the major radius, you can do that. This is 0.236. And just click on it again. This is 0.155. We need to extrude this 0.115. Now we need a new 2D sketch on this ellipse for the main body portion. So we're going to project the geometry of that ellipse. Clicking on it like that, that brings whatever shape we want to our current sketch to use it. We are going to do an offset circle from the ellipse. We're going to come out 0 0.05 and then we finish that sketch. Now we're going to do this curved section, or this uh, tapered section, we could draw a work plane up here, an offset work plane, and then we could draw this ellipse here, and then do a loft. But we can also do a tapered extrusion. It all depends on maybe what you measured originally, which would probably be this upper oval. Loft comes later. It's the loft. But I'm going to show you how to do a tapered extrusion which may be handy in other situations. So I want to do both these here. First type in your 0.84 distance and then click on the more tab. We want to do a taper. So you've got to decide here without measuring. Just look at your Automoblox mail and find a number that you think looks right. <clears throat> I think six degrees looks pretty good. And there's that. Now later we'll need a work axis going through the center of the part, which we can do one of two ways. We can come over to the origin since we drew this around the origin, and in this case we can make our Y axis visible. Another way, I'm going to undo that, another way would be to go to axis through center of a circular or elliptical edge. And the only circular elliptical edge we have is this one in here. And that creates it right there. And over here you see work axis 1. Now we're going to create a new sketch in the front here. And we're going to right click while in our sketch. And we're going to use the slice graphics. You see how that is cut out. It's taken that plane and cut it out, what we can see. Now we can also, if we would have done our sketch on this side, it's going to be something like this. Probably doesn't matter which one we use, so I would use this side. It gives you a little better visual idea of what the slice graphics function does for us. And what I'm going to do is project geometry of the work axis, and I'm also going to do this main body section. That'll help us center our next feature. Okay. 
Now we're going to draw this sketch here. It gives you these dimensions. This one's wrong. It should be 0.6. But we're going to draw this so that we can trim off these edges here to make it look more like the actual Automoblocks person. So, we start with a line. I'm going to draw it across the bottom. And I'm just going to kind of guess at where it is. Maybe follow the contour. Maybe about right there. And then I'm going to come across. Straight across. And then back down to my starting point. I'm going to come in here in dimension from here to here. It's 0.6. And then to make it symmetrical, I'm going to make the whole thing 1.2. And then I'm going to do an arc, three-point arc. There's one, there's the other, and now we have this green dot up here because we projected the main body. Otherwise it won't. It'll be tough to get it perfect. Finish. Now you could trim this out if you wanted to, or you don't have to in case you want to come back and change some of the measurements later. So I'm just going to finish sketch. And now I'm going to extrude these two surfaces. I'm going to do all, and I'm going to do an intersect sketch. And I did not do a symmetrical, so let's try that again. Extrude. Do a symmetrical sketch. Let's do all and an intersect. And then you have that slight curve there that we want. Next, we want to create the head of the Automobox character. And our instructions tell us to just rough out what you think works. So I challenge you to make the goofiest head possible. One thing we're going to need to do is either make our one of our planes visible or create a work plane. We create a work plane, mid plane between two planes, and then click on the two opposite sides of your base. Should be able to just hover right there, and then it creates the work plane. That matches our X, Y plane, which you could just make visible if you wanted to draw on that. Since we've done it through the centered on the origin, we don't have to create a work plane separate. Okay, so we're going to do a sketch. And then just come up here and draw whatever the heck you want. If you want I don't know. What do you want? What they have you draw is a line starting here. See, here's where you may want to project geometry, if it'll let you. You just create a line with some arcs. I'm going to try a rectangle here. And then I'm going to fill it. And then we can use the revolve feature. Finish sketch. Revolve this profile around this axis. And there's your head. Looks more like a Lego head. If you want to put some eyes on there, some weird hairdo, knock yourself out. File save as. Put this in your Automoblocks folder or your current folder. 5.5b Auto Man initials.